students how are you hope you are doing well now the question is write two limitations of ohm's law plot their vi characteristics so the problem is based on the topic ohm's law and the deviation from the ohm's law basically the ohm's law states that v is equal to ir or it means that the voltage is directly proportional to current and the proportionality constant is resistance so if we plot this particular graph this is the ideal relationship this is the ideal relationship so if you plot the graph between voltage and current it must be a straight line where the slope of this particular straight line is the resistance this slope is the resistance so this is the ideal case but the ohm flow is deviated in such in certain cases for example if we take a practical resistor then the practical resistor it follows the linear relationship up to a certain extent but not always so we can say that the the first point we say that the limitation the first point is the relationship the relationship between v and i of linear nature of linear nature ceases ceases means it finishes after a certain time after a certain time or a value after a certain time or a value of applied voltage applied voltage so if we increase the voltage and after a certain instant we can see that the graph it becomes non linear up to a certain extent up to a certain extent it is linear then it deviates so this is a first deviation and the, this is the first reason and the corresponding graph the second limitation is that if we change the sign if we change the sign of the voltage then ideally then ideally the graph must remain a straight line for the ideal case if you change the sign of the voltage to negative then the in that case also the graph should look like this but in practical case for example if we take the case of a diode the diode characteristic curve we can plot the diode characteristic curve this is current this is voltage in the forward bias this is the characteristic and in reverse bias this is the characteristic so we can say that by changing by changing the sign of voltage voltage the current shows different behavior different behavior different behavior the current changes the different shows the different behavior because you can see easily that when the voltage is in the forward direction this is the particular graph but in the negative direction of voltage this is the graph so the relationship is not same as in the case of a resistor for example we have a resistor we change the polar terminals there is no effect of change there is no change so this is the second reason and we have to show only the two reasons here now i am explaining it in hindi so humse yahan pe ohm's law ke bare mein pucha gaya hai ki kis kis case mein wo deviate karta hai तो ओम्स लॉ के डेविएशन के लिए हम कह सकते हैं पहला डेविएट करता है वो कि जो हमें लीनियर रिलेशनशिप देखते हैं स्ट्रेट लाइन का रिलेशनशिप देखते हैं वीक्वल्स टू आई आर ये एक परफेक्टली प्रैक्टिकल केसेस में ये फॉलो नहीं होता है एक सर्टेन केस तक एक सर्टेन एक्सटेंट तक ये फॉलो होता है फॉर एग्जाम्पल एक रजिस्टर का ही केस हम लें तो एक सर्टेन वैल्यूज तक वोल्टेज और करेंट की सर्टेन वैल्यूज तक ही लीनियर होता है लेकिन उसके बाद ये नॉन लीनियरिटी शो करता है उसके प्रैक्टिकल रीजन्स है कई सारे कि टेम्परेचर इंक्रीज हो जाता है ज्यादा अगर हम करंट बढ़ाते हैं तो उससे टेम्परेचर उस पर्टिकुलर मटेरियल का इंक्रीज हो जाता है जिससे कि जो आयन है वो वाइब्रेशन उनका बढ़ जाता है ये उसके पीछे के रीजन है तो ये पहला रीजन है डेविएशन का दूसरा रीजन है कि वोल्टेज की पोलरिटी अगर हम चेंज कर दें तो हमें आइडियली जो ग्राफ मिलना चाहिए वोल्टेज और करंट के ग्राफ में कोई बदलाव नहीं आना चाहिए वो एक लीनियर ग्राफ ही रहना चाहिए लेकिन हम क्या देखते हैं हम पर्टिकुलरली जैसे डायवर्ट के केस में देखते हैं कि फॉरवर्ड बायस में हमें कुछ ऐसा ग्राफ मिलता है और रिवर्स बायस में कुछ इस तरह से ग्राफ मिलता है सो so, ये जो रिलेशनशिप है वोल्टेज करंट की ये चेंज हो जाती है पोलरिटी चेंज करने की 
तो ये दूसरा रीज़न हम यहाँ पे दे सकते हैं और ये करस्पॉन्डिंग हम ग्राफ प्लॉट करके इसको शो कर सकते हैं होप आपको सोल्यूशन समझ में आ गया हुआ है